Risa 3D version 18 now offers a modern user interface that allows users to more easily utilize the tools and features that make Risa 3D great. So if we start here, we can see at the very top, we have a new ribbon toolbar. And so the ribbon toolbar, we can see the different tabs here for home, modify, view, drawing tools, spreadsheets, advanced, and results for when you have active results. So if we click on either of these, we can go ahead and choose, let's say modify is where we have all our copy, move, basically all the tools that you would use to modify members or loads. Also some of the more advanced tools uh, for model merge, if we look at view, we have some of our different view settings, turning on and off the project grid, also the model and results view settings. So this brings you to the larger dialogue for all the model view settings that you're familiar with in Risa 3D. Additionally, in this interface, we can go ahead and actually add in a new view. So if I click to open a new 3D window, we can see the new 3D window. And one of the nice new features in the interface is we can actually dock that 3D window. So if we dock that 3D window, we can have two separate views of the model and, and change the properties of that view uh, to whatever we want. So if I wanted to say here in the view toolbar, if I wanted to say I wanted a XZ view or a YZ view, I could go ahead and do that. And I could also go ahead and look at maybe just the wireframe view of that model as well. If we go ahead and select the spreadsheets tab, it's blank right now. But if I go over to the Explorer, which is very familiar to us in Risa 3D, and in the data entry section, click on, let's say the section set spreadsheet, I can open up the spreadsheet and then dock it below the elevation view here on the right hand side. And we can see here that the spreadsheets tab now is populated with all the kind of operations and, and different things that we would want to be able to do in the spreadsheet. And so we can see here the different row operations, um, the different clipboard operations, copy paste, some fill and math operations, and then just some basic formatting operations as well. Now, if we look at the advanced tab, we'll see just some of the options for the libraries and the load generators. And then results has just kind of the basic uh, results setting. One of the nice new features here is the ability to kind of really directly select either the envelope or load combination specific result spreadsheets. So a really quick way to get to that. Now, when we're actually in the 3D view here, uh, we have some different features and functionalities that are new as well. So if we hold down shift and the center mouse button, We'll be able to freely rotate the model similar to what we find in other graphical modeling tools. Additionally, we have our navigation cube up here. So if I go ahead and actually grab on the navigational cube, I can actually use that to rotate. I can also select specifically an axis here and just rotate about that axis. So we have a lot of features and flexibility um, as far as rotation and navigation goes. As always, you can just zoom in and out with the roll ball on your mouse or hold in the roll ball on the mouse to go ahead and pan back and forth. One of the familiar items that you'll recognize is the selections toolbar. So we can see the selections toolbar here on the left, just like, as it was in previous versions of Risa 3D. And so if I go ahead and rotate around, I'm going to use one of our selection options. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line maybe through uh, some of these members. And once we see that, we'll see automatically that our properties panel uh, selects those members. So this is different. This is new. We have a properties panel similar to other software on the market. And so we can actually select from the members that we've chosen. So I'll select maybe our cold form steel members. And here we can see all the shared properties. And so this replaces the uh, double click dialogue or the modify dialogue. And we can see we can make all the different changes that were available in that dialogue here in the properties panel. And so we could change the additional properties, some of our design properties. Also, we can choose the new section sets or uh, the new material type for all of these members together at one time. If I hit escape, we'll deselect those members. And I wanna go ahead and look at the view toolbar here. And so we have our preset views, so ISO views, X, Y, Z views. But we also have the ability to turn on and off the visibility of loads, results, and deflections. And so if I go ahead and turn on loads here, I'm now able to select from the dropdowns the type of load and then the corresponding load type that we uh, wanna choose. And so for instance, if I look at basic load case here, I can actually see our surface loads, our plate surface loads that are available. So I can go ahead and select one. And in the same way as the members, I can see all those properties, all those options of that surface load to be able to change it in the properties panel here. Additionally, I can go ahead and choose maybe a load combination and we can see all of the loads in this case. So in LC1, we've got these point loads on the tower. We've got some member area loads as well as some plate surface loads on the member. Now I'm gonna go back to the home tab here and you'll notice our quick view settings. So in our quick view settings, we have different options for 
different things that we want to be able to quickly view or quickly change. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe turn on the color coding of this model and we'll see as soon as we make those changes, we've got our legend or our key that pops up. We could also maybe change uh, our nodes to get our labels on. Uh, we can turn on and off different member labels or different unity checks or, 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 or color coding uh, of the particular members. We can also do a measurement, so we can take a distance here in this case of anything. And then finally, when we're ready uh, to maybe reset it back to the main view, so, because, so we don't want the loads, we don't want the member labels or the node labels, maybe the model's getting a little too busy, we can go ahead and click the reset view button to kind of get back to our stock standard view setting. Finally, the last toolbar that I want to mention is this quick access toolbar in the purple at the very top here. So on the right side of our quick access toolbar, we have our director, which allows us to transfer load information to Risa floor, found Risa foundation and Risa connection. We also have the quick access to the Risa help. So simply by clicking on the question mark there, we'll get access into the online Risa web help. Additionally, on the left hand side here, we have our Risa 3D button, which is just kind of standard Windows operations, but we also have the new model, open, save, um, print, undo, and then some of the options for solving the model, opening a detailed report, and taking a camera snapshot. One of the other new interface items is the print graphics and print report. So if I go ahead and choose print report, we're going to get a brand new interface uh, for the report printing. And so I'm going to close out of these 3D views so we can expand this report printing interface as much as possible. And so here you can see we have the different tabs for input and output that we want. So for all the spreadsheets, we can choose to expand these uh, drop downs and see, okay, we want to use these inputs or these results. We also have a tab for detailed reports so we can add in all or different types of detailed reports that we want and as well as additional advanced items. So wind and lo seismic load generation reports, miscellaneous items. So if we bring in an image, we can add that. Now anything we add, so if we choose maybe a spreadsheet here to add nodes, we're gonna get that in the current sections and then also we get a preview. And finally, we can set our page setup settings, uh, choosing our printer, our paper orientation, also our paper size, and then choose whether or not we wanna add a print header. And we can also modify that header as well to include maybe our, lo our, our company's logo or any other information that we want. For more information about Risa 3D, visit Risa.com.